everyone, welcome back to another E-Rank product tutorial. Today we're going to start diving into the competitor research set of tools and we're going to start with the competitor sales tool. Knowing your competition is an important part of your Etsy research strategy and with our competitor research tools we can help you streamline that. So let's take a look at this first part of this set of tools. To get started we're going to hit the drop down next to competitor research and we're going to hit sales. Once that's loaded up, you can see that I already have a bunch of shops added in here. So I'll go through how this all works and what uh, data you can expect to get from this part of the tool. So to enter a shop, you would type it here. I've already got shops entered. So if you had a shop you wanted to add, you would type it here and hit track shop, which would add it to this list. Inversely, if you want to remove shop, you just hit this X next to the shop name and that will remove it from your list. So we'll start by looking at this. So in spot one, we have this shop here. We have this graph tick. So if we click that, it will assign a color to it. So it assigned red to that shop. And if we click graph up here in the right, it opens up the graph and we can add shops to this graph to compare shops against one another or against our own shops. And we'll close the graph out and continue on. Next, we have the flag toggle, which we can just assign a color to it. Next, we have the note field where we can edit or add a note. I've added a generic great products note here. We can add any kind of relevant information we want in the notes field. Next, we have the sales trend graph, and this shows us month by month sales totals for each shop in our list. And that goes back several months. Uh, I don't have the exact count, but we're seeing back to December 2023 currently. Next, we have the day by day of sales for the past seven days. And that shows us our total sales for each day over the past seven days. Next, we have seven day sales, and that is combined total of sales for the past seven days. Next, we have 30 day sales, and that is the combined total for the past 30 days. And then if you can't see further, you just slide over with this slider at the bottom and next we'll see active listings. This is the total number of active listings for this shop. And then we have shop age, which in this case is four years and 10 months. So there are other fields we can add to this. So if we hit columns here, we will see the columns that we can add to this and we have everything added except for total sales. I had that removed. So we're going to add it back in to show you how we can add data to this chart. And now we have total sales here. So that is the total sales for the lifetime of the shop. And if we wanted to remove any other data, say we didn't want total sales or we didn't care to see the shop age, we could uncheck those, hit apply, and it removes it from our set of data. So that is the basics of the competitor sales tool. This is just the beginning of this entire suite of competitor research tools. There are many other parts of this suite of tools that we're gonna dive into in future videos, but I wanted to start with this one because this is the best way to add your competition to your list so that you can start tracking your competition. So hopefully this video was helpful and stay tuned for more videos on other tools in the competitor research set of tools.